You know, you mentioned something really interesting about the whole idea of it being an occasion and that maybe different occasions warrant the use of different types of cutlery. Now, one place where I would say you probably have, uh, if it, well, you're obviously hyper aware of cutlery in relation to the food that you're eating. How do you feel about on in-flight cutlery? Because, I mean, it's pretty dis uh, abysmal, right? Like, I mean, so... Well, we've all we've all flown, um, yeah. and I think there's obviously in that. Because I mean, you have to go up and <coughs> to even. I think is it like business class and first class before it even starts to become metal. I don't. I don't know. In economy, is it even? Well, there were some metal? safety uh, implications for cutlery after nine eleven. Exactly. Yeah, and I remember that's when it got even worse. Yeah. So I I designed safety cutlery for airlines. Um, so we have specific requirements for four ah. time length and blades that have to be rounded on the end. Sure. Um, but. In the air, um, I, uh, I'm not an expert at this, but my, un my knowledge is that we have um, different uh, taste and olfactory yeah. experiences. So, Yeah, the altitude, the uh, noise of the engines. It's even said that the, the noise of the engines is at about 80 decibels, and that can suppress physiologically, that can suppress your ability to perceive saltiness and sweetness. Right. And um, the... Um, Air conditioning is uh, yeah. also an effect. So, um, uh, you know, I do a lot of flying around the world. So I'm sure. sort of brand ambassador for Studio Williams. So uh, part of my life is on a plane. And what I've now noticed is, you know, when I'm flying in the older fleet, so like a 747, the air quality is completely different. And when I get off a long right. flight, I feel groggy. My sinuses are all over the shop, you know, sure. almost on the edge of a cold, and yeah. it's because they're recycling the air for sure. 12, 13 hours. So the yeah. new generation yeah. of planes, so I think BA is taking on a new Airbus 350-1000, or something like that, uh, not too knowledgeable on the, on the fleet. Um, but one of its great attributes is that it's, it's taking in new air regularly right. and exhausting old air from the cabin. Okay. So now uh, the customers are actually getting a much more purified air intake in the in That should the help cabin. with even the, the flavor kind of perception. Admittedly, the altitude, because at 35,000 feet, you, the altitude makes it really hard as well for your sinus of you to be able to perceive the aromas of uh, food. So that really inhibits your ability to perceive flavor. But how can cutlery help with it? Because well, they've tried everything. I mean, BH had tried... Um, uh, soundscapes like headphones where you where you listen to certain um, soundscapes or pieces of music that are matched up to certain dishes on the menu they tried that I think years ago okay. um, looking I mean, at kind of sense. that sonic seasoning yeah. kind of idea that Professor Spence talks about but I think there might be something there as well in the cutlery right I mean so um, I've uh, we currently supply three airlines okay. uh, we supply Etihad uh, Saudi and more recently, British Airways, uh, first class in all of them, and uh, business in Saudi Air. And do first class have the same restrictions on the cutlery design, or does it all get, well, in first class, no one's, you know, here I'm, to I'm, harm I'm, the rest? I'm <laughs> going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what is lovely is that the the brands have identified that a lot of their demographics are staying in great hotels around the yeah. world. They're eating in great restaurants. Exactly, sure. And it's almost like a hotel. And when you're on board for like, I don't know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hours, food becomes a really important part of your experience, right? It's the, you know, maybe food and the on-board uh, entertainment system yeah. are your, your kind of you, you, the saving grace of the whole experience if they get it right. But you know, how are they getting it right? So, uh, in the, in my design, you've got a, a, some considerations with elbows and a, maybe a slightly more raised table height. Oh, okay. You know, there's some functional ergonomic design yeah. elements which are incorporated in in my cutlery designs for okay. on board. Um, so, you know, you you uh, you have a general wish to not flail elbows around. Sure. So. Um, you, you're kind of uh, uh, my blade on British Airways is a curvy blade, so that you can come in with a nice rocking action, right, okay. as well as having a lot of personality when laid out on the table before sure. the customer dines. It, it's got great functionality, and then uh, the forehead is more slender, and that's the, one of the characteristics across Studio Williams uh, cutlery design 
portfolio is that yeah. we have more slender fork heads. So the the purpose of this of the slender fork head is that we're trying to make a more elegant uh, delivery from plate surface to the mouth. Okay. Um, and so us guys will be sort of uh, lunchtime. I'm starving. I haven't eaten. I could eat a horse. Pilot this in. sort of thing. You know yeah. the old sayings. And we we. There's a, a, a sort of male thing. We grab the biggest utensil out of the drawer and it's like, I've got to rush, rush, rush. And what happens is that the knock-on effect is indigestion, basically, because you've eaten too quickly. It, it's almost not uh, been masticated in the mouth enough. It's just yeah. swallowed, partly uh, chewed up. And so your digestive process has a, a, a big journey to do and you'll feel discomfort. So... My hope and wish is that the 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 smaller uh, food on the fork yeah. goes into the mouth, and you have more slower, regular uh, delivery into the that mouth. That makes sense. I can see how so that works. So then, essentially, you you you're you're lucky enough to have a, a, a inclining seat on the plane, and you can uh, sort of lay back and sleep comfortably.